Onivia, League of Legends highlights. In, uh, left until last, and so uh, that counter pick option is not going to be there. Maokai. The Maokai. Yeah, I am I am not convinced by this Gen G draft, Atlas. I think it would have As Ward goes down, but Ono knows that he's not going to be able to dive into four people. Unless... Unless... Something can happen here as Gumiushi diving forward. We do have... Right idea, Atlas. Yeah. I just don't know if everyone else will follow. We'll see if he picks up a Horning, guys. We can rejoice. Otherwise, probably just going to be the full tank build coming through from Zayas, who... is are going all out. Zayas is going relatively low. He can press W for that shield. Does do so. Gets a whole bunch of his health back and... Uh, Keen has pressed so many buttons, and it is done next to nothing. Does call in the tree, as there's the Dawning Shadow, and first blood goes to Zayas. Oh no, Chovy should be able to get this kill, but I feel like the damage has almost been done. Oh, this is so silly. It's taking them forever. Oh, okay, Zayas will be taken down. The Arcane Smash going to help get some CC there. Oh, dearie me. Starting to see why Uder was banned. Well, Owner is also going to find Trophy face check in this brush. Kick does come back. Faker also going to be delivered an assist. And even Zayus gets an assist on it. Came out nice. Nice. Yeah, ten. Nice. <laughs> we might get a translation of what he Drake exactly would be said. Big, though. Yeah, okay. Owner going to go in. Not going to be able to steal away the Drake. And now Gumiushi. Okay, Nature's Grasp going to come down. Twisted Advance to try and push the Neela back. Gumiushi should die here. And they actually use the ultimate beautifully from Canyon. Make sure. Making me a little bit sad. I really want to see the Leandri's version. I want that circle to hurt, you know? As Canyon, going to be punching Owner away. Finds a twisted advance now. No! Corruption. Oh, the anti synergy. Doesn't matter. Hey, he's still going to be able to grab that kill. So it's as if he landed the lead. is going to be in favor of 2 1 again. Oh. But it is better than it was, uh, and it might have an angle less. here. Uh, yeah. No, uh, they don't. Uh, the turret goes down. Turret's even gone. Oh, come on. Down this turret. We'll be able to collect that one there. Trovi alone in a side lane. His natural habitat, his preferred location. And the explosive charge going to secure that one. So uh, only the clans of Guma. Whereas Genji most definitely did. Oh, well, there's the Emperor's Divide used defensively here by Faker as Trovi gets on over there. There's the kill to start this one off. Nature's Grasp gonna miss onto Ona. Is sacrificing this inner turret going to be worth it is the answer. If they get it. If they get it, yes. If Ona steals it, absolutely not. Well, resonating strike not going to come in, and the kick gonna be used on Trovi just to get him out of there. Red buff now going to be looked at here by Ona, but look at this! It's an inhibitor turret and an inner! Guys? I'm gonna say almost not worse, Still as Chovy gonna bust a shot Gumiushi away. He has a blast cone there, all out gonna be used by Keen here as he finds Carrier, and Carrier nowhere to go. Oh, oh! flashes into the wall, that is not what you're looking for. Almost a double kill for Keen, as Gumiushi goes down as well, but the damage is kind of... Opportunity. Been... Yeah, there's an opportunity for victory. I, I don't... Oh, look at that drifting! Love like to see that. Both Hubris and Opportunity Gift seconds uh, at a time, you get extra lethality. So it's great for Poke, it's great if you're something like Rangar that deletes people in the first couple of seconds. Owner. Oh, yeah, uh, he is going to get CC'd forever and die. So that blue buff kind of costing him. Just a little bit there as we full information over. Taking this out of turret top lane, certainly going to be helping out though, and they might move towards a gold advantage for the first time this game. Gangle. They can push for in him. Genji needs to force. Yeah, Zayas just trying to be annoying in that front line. Ona can get the kick into the back line. Empress Divide onto two as well. The Warbo combos in. Lance tries to get it done, but there is no Varus. There's no Tristana. And T1 have found yet another one. But Keen trying to find it. Does get a decent angle, but the Neil is still up and available, and she does so much damage. Lance trying to get to his base, but once again, it's the T1 team fight. Don't think the game's over as much as it was in game number one, but it's looking rough. Still looking about. As it turns out, Hayes gets the transformation mid-fight, and they finally get the outer turret in the mid lane. That's into any sort of 50-50. It's not like a rel situation like they had last time. As that's a nice little snare. There's the flash into the back line, finds Hayes. The follow-up just Whoa. not there, though, as Chovy just says goodnight to Faker. And all out coming through once again here. Isaiah's going down low, but he's an Udia. Uh, low is a weird term. Uh, the T1 oh. mid laner, and now a teleport back. Senna healing. Owner's still there. 
Yeah, Canyon actually getting relatively low. Keen at full health because he just teleported back, but Pays possibly vulnerable. Faker in 10. We'll see whether they actually go for this one as the Baron getting lower and lower. Chovy auto attacking it. And it looks like Gen.G are a little bit split on the decision. There's the Q from Keen. It's big. It's Gumiushi, the Apotheosis. And T1 will find the team fight. The Baron goes down. Yeah, Canyon manages to get that one. Chovy's still alive. It's Faker Wait. dead once again. And he gets the Baron. That is certainly good news. First death goes over to Canyon as the triple comes in. Because they focus owner, they get him out of uh, but, out of commission, and then they secure the Baron, and then they're like, all right, guys, let's get out. And they're like, the Sand Soldiers. He is going to be standing back. Three items. Oh, no. And the Bams have to come in here as, yeah, owner looking for that flank angle. Gen G, there's the nature's grasp. Everyone lining up behind the Udyr as the explosive charge does so much to Gumiyushi. Dawning Shadow comes in. There is the Udyr going down, I'm sure. As Grand Entrance comes in, they pick off Faker once again. It's a double for Chovy and Gen G may have just found it. They may have found another game as Gumiyushi tries as he might, but it's not going to be enough. And Chovy now is on the onslaught structures. They bother him, and he is just cutting them down where they stand. Seven, two, and six on the Tristana. They are not stopping here. First Nexus turret going to be taking down Explosive Charge, doing so much damage. Owner and Carrier, I just don't think they're going to be able to stop this. As Gen G now getting to work on the next Nexus turret. In goes Owner, looking for some sort of kick, but doesn't quite find it. Chovy able to take down Carrier. And there goes the Nexus. We're going to a third game. And Gen.G are taking us there. Silly us, Atlas. Gen.G, you know when they were really good? It was last year in summer. Oh, so they, there we go. They go for the throwback comp. And boy, does it work. There are still some early.